Hello and welcome uh, to the experiment that I said I was going to do to see if you could make this bear out of cotton. Unfortunately, you can't. And I fast forwarded everything I've made 64 times so we can get to the end to have a look why. Um, I've made it 25% less in pattern. And as you can see, this is a bit where we find out we've done the back, we've done all the front, got the arms and the legs and everything attached, and they do not match. You have to stretch one to make it fit with the other. You have to put certain seams together, obviously, and that's the foot seam, which I'm showing you now. Uh, and then it goes up to the armour hole, where they all have to join together there and then onto the arm, which I managed to get the arm in. But the waist is wrong and the legs wrong and there's no way you can stretch any cotton to fit the gap that was too big. Sorry, too small. Um, the head went together perfectly, as you can see right from the beginning. Um, that's why I didn't show you the head in the making of it because... I knew that that wasn't going to cause any problems. It was the body. Now, what I did in this section all the way through is I actually copied all the letters, the A, B, C, D, E, F, etc, etc, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, all and copied it actually from the pattern onto the wrong side of the fabric. So I knew I was getting each piece together in the right place. Uh, this is where the armhole is going together and that actually is a little bit tight you have to really because it's on a curve you have to really pull that round and in cotton cotton doesn't like to be pulled too much you could probably get eighth of an inch probably a quarter of an inch sometimes in certain cottons but as you can see look at that way too way wrong so if anything, I've proven a point that you cannot make this in cotton at the current pattern pieces. Unfortunately, I am not very good at doing patterns, but you need the waist to be wider and you need the legs, one of the legs to be wider, one of the waist to be wider to, wider to fit on top of the other one. Um, as I said, I did it 25% less uh, by reducing the pattern side when I was printing it out. And I was really looking forward to how this teddy, because green is my favourite and I wanted to do a patchwork. So what I'm going to do now is, now if you could want to do one in, the body in fleece and the head in cotton, you could mix and match um, your fabrics. Um, as you can see I'm taking such a long time I am trying so hard to manipulate this to make it fit but it just it just it's impossible it's a shame because it's a lovely looking bear there you go look at the gap in there and there's no way you can fit if once you put that together waist together there then you've got a gap up in between your arm hole and your waist that won't stretch to fit and then obviously the whole of the leg one is shorter than the other and obviously with me look at the gap there's no way that's going to be stretched to fit to, to go together that's a shame that I don't know anybody else who makes this in cotton how they make it fit all I can say is that their seams don't match but there you go we did try we have proven a point 
it can only be made in stretched material and really a uh, really good stretch material at that unless you want to mix your fabrics so all i can say is thank you very much uh for taking the time uh to listen and to have a look and um you never know we might, i'm going to scroll around the internet now to see if i can actually find another teddy bear pattern that we can all do together if i do i will make i will make a video of it so i'm just going to leave you now with a bit of music Thank you.